Hello, my name is Mrs. Blood. I teach English 101 and English 11 at Frontier High. English 101 is a college class where the students will receive three credit hours and there's a fee for $200. Their transcript will, will be held at Hilbert College and they can transfer that to the college of their choice. Um, English 11 is a Regents class and the students will take their exit Regents exam at the end of the school year. What I'll show you here today is a quick video of my landing page and how some of the functions of the class will operate, especially since we're hybrid and digital and things are a little bit different this year. Um, as you already know, some of my students are hybrid, which means they're in an A or B cohort or they're online completely. And um, I try to address all of those students with the landing page and with Google Classroom. Google Classroom is our hub for all students. Um, you'll see right here um, that I have the most used links for what we need. The first is the daily attendance. And if students click on their class period, it'll take them directly to the link where we have our daily attendance with their, with their day's attendance right at the top. So it's easy to find. The quick link to the current lesson I hope is especially easy for the kids. When they click on this, they can go to their class and then it hyperlinks straight to their current assignment. Um, this is helpful if there's too much digital clutter for the kids and they don't know whether they're going to the stream or the, or the class page or a web page. Um, so hopefully this declutters all of that digital mess. The Google Classroom main page is just that. If the students want to calibrate by going to their Google Class, it's really the, the leader page within Google Classroom. It takes them to the stream. I can click on Classwork here for you for a second, and you can see that the class is organized according to topic. Right here, I've kept all of the last current lessons or tasks or assignments. Eventually, these, though, will be moved and we'll run into a routine where only one or two or three of what we've last worked on will be up here in that current lesson section. Um, the students will have a running notebook and uh, we will have weekly conferences, at least voluntary, and then there's some other um, topics that will be posted throughout the school year that are helpful. Next, Google Sheets and Meets. This is important if students would like to reach me uh, Wednesdays during conference hours. Sometimes I might require this. So I'll have the students sign up. And this is what the sign up sheet looks like. The students might be asked to sign up together in a group. They might be asked to sign up independently, depending on the lesson and the assignment that we're doing. Um, but that's if it's required. Otherwise, the students know that Wednesday, I have open office hours, which are voluntary except for my online students who are virtual 100% of the time. They need to touch base with me Wednesday. And I still give them freedom to drop in when it's convenient. Or if this isn't convenient, they can, upon request, make a, a, um, a special meet with me. But they click on the bistro chairs and it's always that link so that we're not confused looking at three different places for, for Google Meets and Links and getting all confused. So it's always right here. Um, these doors will be for whole class Google Meets, which will be rare as long as we're hybrid and we have an AB cohort. But if we were to go virtual 100% the whole entire school building, I would use these a little bit more readily and I would hold um, whole class meetings as convenient. Not that, that we wouldn't balance that with some asynchronous classes because we would. Next, um, the running notebook. Each student has their own digital notebook. If you move to the class, it'll take them directly to that um, assignment. And once they click on that, it takes each student directly to their own notebook, where they'll do a lot of the work that I might otherwise do in class together, the activities and tasks that just help us grow and develop, but that are perhaps a little less formal. Um, if I click on present, this will open up for you to see um, the vocabulary, the critical reading strategies, and the tabs that the students would need throughout the school year. Uh, this is particular to English 101. This is an edit version and the students have full access to it all the time, as do I. Uh, when they turn in work, they turn in a URL for the page of the journal. 
Falcons Taking Flight is just a fun page where we'll celebrate the kids as we move along in the school year. My web page, you're welcome to visit. I use it more for celebratory um, pictures and activities. You can see that I have the summer reading up there. Um, here's another way to reach the landing page if the students choose to enter in this way. That's perfectly fine, but they do need to make sure they're logged into their school Google account for the links to work, and that's a security measure as well. Um, the Literary Magazine have some fun checking this out. Um, I'm advisor of the Literacy Club, and we hope to do this digitally again this year, but the students can write, publish, um, edit, partake, and um, enjoy that on your own time. Uh, Frontier Library, I put this here for the students' convenience, um, which is from the, the school librarian. Lots of good things happening there to organize the students as well, especially digitally. They'll have access to what they need. Um, our class calendar is right here. Click on the calendar. Um, if the students have a response writing from me, they can click on either the plume for English 101 or the pen for English 11. And there are some other surprises and treats here that I'll let the kids show you on their own time. But if you click on the compass, this you might want to pay special attention to because it outlines a little bit more carefully some of the details of the class and how we organize and operate. If you click on my framed picture, this is where students, especially online students, can hear and see me as we just review what we're going to do for the week. So that'll take them to Flipgrid. They'll probably have to sign in. If I were to click on this, well, I will, you'll see a video pop up. It'll ask you to do just this, to sign on with uh, your school email. And then if the kids do click on this, they'll get a quick little message from me. All right. That is the landing page for most students. Now, if we click over here on online students, my online students have a living room because they are home. So um, they might have a couple extra things in here. A lot of this uh, runs parallel. Here is their sheets and meet sign up, their compass, their class guide, their calendar, of course. And here is their digital notebook to go directly to their own personal within their class. Um, this will take the students to their um, Google Classroom. And, of course, this is their, their plume for the same assignment. Most everything will be parallel. The online students at home will receive the same lessons as the hybrid students, but they will be managed differently. They will um, have more or less time depending on the task so that they can reach out to me if they need support and I can get back to them. So the due dates and assignments and things like that will be flexible um, on, a, on their own calendar. Um, so if I go back to their page, you'll also see that they have pictures on the wall. And if we were to click on these, let me click on a random one. Um, this is where my online kids will, will talk to me essentially back and forth because we don't get to do that as the hybrid students do. So I hope that that's helpful. Um, all right. Again, some you know, the kids can click on some things for surprises, but over here, the clock, this takes them to their um, activity of the day or their task for the next few days, their current assignment. And this right now is the same as all of my other classes, but because of the way that we might need to manage differently, um, because I don't see them as often, the, the schedule might be a little bit different in the future. So that should be expected. And this is where they'll go. It might look different from what my hybrid kids are doing eventually as the year goes on. All right, that's my landing page. That's the basic crust of the class. Um, it's been a pleasure meeting your students, and I hope everybody has a very successful school year. If you'd like to reach me, um, my email is um, jblood at frontiercsd.org. Um, my extension at the school is 2106, and you're welcome to reach out and speak with me. Have a nice night.